Hi YouTube, welcome to another hardware test. This one is the AMD 9060 XT. The model I got is the XFX Swift uh, three fan version. We're gonna test this with rendering performance, viewport performance, using both the old OpenGL viewport backend and also the new Vulkan backend, which um, is a very exciting new update to Blender in 4.5. If you haven't read up on that yet, it's definitely worth looking into. Um, and then we're gonna run the Blender Open Data Benchmark at the end. And we'll talk about all of the results kind of compared to other GPUs. So stick around for that. Uh, but let's start off with rendering tests. Before we start rendering, here are the system specs. We have a AMD 5950X processor with 64 gigs of RAM and the 9060 XT from AMD. We'll start off rendering the classroom scene. I've sped this one up significantly, but it is very short test. This one only took 36.4 seconds. Now on to the barbershop scene. This one is sped up 20 times. And the 9060 XT finished this in two minutes and 49 seconds. Next is the Lone Monk. By far the heaviest scene. This clip is 36 times sped up. And this test took 4 minutes and 36 seconds. And the final rendering test is the Scanland scene. And this clip is sped up 20 times. This one seemed to run a little bit slow. But it finished it in 2 minutes and 38 seconds. Okay, now let's run through the rendering results for the 9060 XT. So we'll start off with the classroom scene. For these four tests, you'll see that I left the 5060 Ti highlighted in green. And that was most recently tested on Blender 4.4, just for reference. And then these red cells here are the 9060 XT results, tested in both 4.4 and 4.5. And you can see that there's not a lot of difference between Blender 4.4 and 4.5 just in rendering. On the classroom, the 9060 XT is right at about 36 and a half seconds on average between the two versions of Blender. Um, it looks like the 9070 XT is basically twice as fast. So maybe not surprising. The price difference kind of makes sense with that. But um, these results, again, will be available on my community tab in YouTube here. So you can refer to screenshots of all of this data sorted in order, but let's go on to the barbershop. Similar situation here. The 9070 XT is just about twice as fast as the 9060 XT. And obviously the 5060 Ti completely destroys the 9060, uh, which is not surprising again, based on the price difference. Here we got about 176 seconds on average in the barbershop scene with the 9060 XT. And you can see the other GPUs here, but there are quite a bit of older and just as cheap GPUs that still beat this one. So um, not really surprising, but definitely a little bit disappointing. Later in the year, AMD is supposed to be updating some of their HIP APIs to hopefully gain back some speed for their newest GPUs in ray tracing um, outside of gaming, at least. We'll see if they can pull off some gains. Uh, the next scene here, though, is the Lone Monk. This is the one that everybody except for NVIDIA runs better on, uh, on average for some reason. So here you can see the the gap between the 9060 XT and the 5060 Ti is much smaller. So we had 276 seconds for the 9060 XT and 207 seconds for the 5060 Ti. So much smaller margin, especially when you look at the prices. Uh, so for whatever reason, this scene is easier to run on AMD, Intel, and Apple relatively versus the other tests. So um, don't know why, but like here you can see the 7900 XT is just behind the 4090. 
on this test and in every other test that is not the case. Um, the last one is the scan land scene. And this one is basically typical of some of the other results. So the 9060XT took about 159 seconds uh, on the scan land scene compared to the 9070XT, which was, again, about twice as fast. And then both of those are slower than the 5060 Ti. So that kind of gives you a good idea of uh, some of the lower to middle end GPUs that have come out recently. That's how they're scoring. That is it for rendering tests for now. Okay, so I've switched over here to the viewport test. And you can see that I have the 9060 XT selected with HIPRT. And right below that, we have the options for the display graphics backend. And we're going to run, this is uh, Blender 4.4. So we're going to start with 4.4 in OpenGL. So I'll close that. And all I'm going to do is the same thing I do every time. I'm just going to uh, enter the camera mode here and hit play. And we're going to watch this FPS at the top left. So once this kind of starts to run, it'll stabilize, and it looks like this one gets 5.7 frames per second in this scene. So we'll record that here in just a second. I'll, I'll reset this animation, and I'll leave the camera view so we can kind of orbit around freely. And this is definitely somewhat delayed compared to other GPUs that we've seen. And you can see there's some lag there just between moving around. And if you've seen my other tests, you would know that there's usually not that much lag. So let's just from out here, let's start to play it again just to make sure. And again, it levels out at about 5.7 frames per second. And so now I will switch to Blender 4.5. Okay, so here I have Blender 4.5 with the same render device settings, and we have OpenGL enabled for the display graphics backend. So I'm gonna click into the camera, and I will reset this animation here. So it's the same file, everything's the same. And I'll play this, and we're getting just under 5.7, yeah, it looks like the same, about 5.7 frames per second. So uh, nothing has changed from Blender 4.4 to 4.5 as far as the OpenGL backend. Um, all you have to do in Blender 4.5 now, we're gonna switch over to the Vulkan backend. So I'm gonna just come into the system settings in Blender, and I'm gonna switch this from OpenGL to Vulkan. And it will tell you here that you have to restart Blender for it to apply, and um, it is, currently limited, it has poor performance with VR, which is not something that's gonna bother us. So I'll save my preferences, and then I will restart Blender again. Okay, so here again, you can see we have the 9060 XT running in HIP for cycles with RT checked on. And then we have our Vulkan backend for display graphics enabled. So I'll close these preferences here and then Let's click back into the camera. I'll reset the animation here and let's just play it. Okay, so now same exact process, but now we have Vulkan backend enabled and we're getting anywhere from about 7.2 frames per second um, up to about 10. It spikes up to 10 sometimes. So it looks like about 7.2 is the more stable frame rate. So I will record that. So basically with just the Vulkan backend change, playing back animations went from 5.7 frames per second to about 7.2 frames per second, which is a very large percentage jump. So let's go back over to the spreadsheet and type those in. Okay, so we're back here on the spreadsheet. And again, we had about 5.7 frames per second in Blender 4.4 and 4.5 with OpenGL backend. 
and we had about 7.2 frames per second with the Vulcan backend. So again, frames per second, um, higher is better in this test. So that is quite the jump. And this is a kind of lower end GPU. So it's not, it's not gonna have really great scores for this anyway, but just this change is, is significant. If you start to look at other cards, like even the 9070 XT from AMD, this percentage difference will, will increase the performance by quite a bit. And so again, this is just for drawing the viewport. It's kind of an interesting update. I'm glad that they finally added Vulkan to uh, Blender in a meaningful way, because this, this will make dealing with the viewport, especially with heavy scenes, a lot smoother. And that's maybe more exciting than render speed updates because you're gonna spend a lot more time animating and uh, creating your scenes in the viewport than you are actually rendering. So changes like this are very, very infrequent in softwares and this can be really, really exciting. So hopefully this gets even better over time. Okay, now I've sorted the viewport FPS results here and highlighted the 9060 XT performance in this kind of red color. And so again, I'll have to go back and test um, all these all these parts really with the new Vulcan backend and see how much it kind of increases frame rate in the viewport. So that's again, a very exciting update for Blender and hopefully it gets even better from here. But that is it for viewport performance for now. I am gonna look for another scene that I can share to everybody and maybe it'll just be one of the standard Blender scenes to also test for viewport. And then everyone who watches these can compare using their own hardware if they would like to. Um, but watch for that eventually. And if you have a good suggestion, I am definitely open to it. Uh, the next test is gonna be the Blender Open Data Benchmark. And I'm just gonna go back to the Benchmark PC. I'll run it with 4.4. Like we saw with the other rendering results, there's not a ton of change between 4.4 and 4.5, so I'll just run 4.4 since that will compare to everything else. So I'll just hop back in here and we'll start up Blender Benchmark and I'll select 4.4 and it's just saying it's gonna run Monster Junk Shop and Classroom Scenes. I'm gonna click Next and we're gonna run it on the 9060 XT and I will speed this up after we start it because it takes a couple minutes and we'll meet back at the results page. Okay, so I got my numbers here. I will go ahead and copy those over and I'll see you back at the spreadsheet. Here are the totals for the GPUs I've tested on the open data benchmark. It looks like the 9060 XT is about half as fast as the 9070 XT, which is pretty interesting. And it's about, oh, it's just about a third of the speed of the 5060 Ti in this test. So I find those results um, fairly useful and you can see the other ones there if you're interested in those. Uh, but that is it for today's testing because Cinebench does not work with brand new GPUs for some reason. So until they update that software, we won't be able to run that one. Uh, anyway, that's it for the testing. Let me know what else you wanna know about the GPU. Um, I really appreciate you coming here to watch my video and hopefully we'll see you on the next one.